This lesson covers how to use the new masking render elements to streamline your post-production workflow in V-Ray Next for SketchUp. These render elements can render 2D masks of 3D objects, so that we can then isolate those masks to make quick tweaks and fixes in Photoshop or any other image editing software. To see how this works, let's first create the new render elements. If we right-click on the Render Elements tab, let's use Control and Click to add the Material ID Number and Multimap Materials render elements. Note that in V-Ray Next, we also have the Material ID Color render element, which I'll explain more about in a bit. Next, in order to set up our masks, I'll need to set the Material ID for each of the materials I want to have control over in post-production. Let's search for Glass and select the Glass Bumpy material. Also, let's double-check that we are viewing the Advanced Mode parameters in the upper right corner of the Material settings. Now if I scroll down, you'll see here the new Material ID parameters. Make sure it's already toggled on, and then let's set the ID number to 1. Now, the material will be assigned a mask in the new render elements we added, with the ID numbers determining the masks. You can even set one ID number for more than one material, in order to create a group of objects in the Multimat channel. Also, you'll see that there is an ID color parameter here. This is where you can specify a color for a material's mask to appear in the Material ID Color Render element I mentioned earlier. Since we aren't using this render element in our scene, the ID color won't have any effect. Next, I'm also going to search for the wall paint material and set the material ID number to 2. Lastly, I'll search for the wood black A material and set the material ID number to 3. Now that you've seen the basic workflow, note that I already assigned some additional material ID numbers in advance to most of the materials in the scene. That way, you can see what happens when we have more than three material ID numbers. Now let's render the image so we can see the results with the masks. Okay, if we drop down the render elements, I'll first show you the material ID number. As you can see, this render element has created masks for all of the objects with material ID numbers assigned in the scene. Each mask here uses automatic integer color assignment based on the material ID number. Next, you'll see that V-Ray generated a bunch of multimap material render elements, even though we only added one. This is because the multimap material creates a selection mask with up to only three colors, red, green, and blue, representing three unique material ID numbers. If your project has more than three material ID numbers, V-Ray analyzes the scene at render time and then automatically creates the number of multimap material elements necessary with each channel name indicating the ID numbers it represents. Altogether, these new masking render elements in V-Ray Next for SketchUp make it easy to isolate and adjust the appearance of a material in post-production using the image editing software of your choice. This way, you won't need to re-render an image just to make small changes since you can simply select specific parts of the image and tweak them to suit your needs.